Hello, my name is Howard Stone. I'm a fellow of the college and the director of physical natural sciences. In the university, my official title is reader in metallurgy and I'm associated with the department of material science and metallurgy. Now the research that I do is principally focused on developing new alloys for a range of industrial applications. And I work with many companies to do that, uh, particularly those in the aerospace sector. Now with regards to teaching, I lecture first, second and third year uh, courses in um, material science, particularly focused on topics around alloys and subjects related to that. And so that's part of the um, natural sciences stripos, uh, the material science strand within it. I also am involved with de delivering supervisions and also practicals. So within the college, I'll actually take responsibility for looking after the teaching of most of the first year undergraduates. So if you happen to choose material science, as one of the topics you wish to study in your first year, there's a good chance you'll be supervised by me. And as you've probably seen from other information that's available on the various admissions sites associated with the university, those supervision sessions take the form of uh, one hour weekly um, sessions where we go through question sheets and um, all these finer points of the lecture courses um, in those sessions. So I think within Queen's College, we're very fortunate, actually, that we have a very good population of fellows that cover most of the physical natural sciences subjects. And this means that we're in a great position to provide a lot of subject specific support and guidance to all of our students. It's also worth saying that we actually have quite a large number of natural scientists amongst the student body within the college. Typically, we take in about 26 students each year of which about half do physical natural sciences and the other half do the biological natural sciences. So in a typical year, we're seeking to take in something between 12 and 14 physical natural scientists. And with this nice large community of students, we actually benefit then from having good representation of all of the subjects, all the students as the years go on. And that means that there's lots of the students who be able to provide internal support and guidance and advice. Indeed, we also have a society within the college known as the Milner Society, which is run by the students and runs a whole host of different academic, uh, social type events for the natural sciences um, and is very active and engages students across all of the different year groups, which is very good. So if you're interested in studying natural sciences and you're interested in Queen's College, what do we look for in the application process and um, how is it actually run within the college? two key questions I'm sure you wanted to ask. With regard to the application itself, what we're really looking for is evidence of real ability and interest in the natural sciences. So there are many ways you can get this across, particularly in your personal statement. You can tell us about all of the different um, sources or uh, things that have motivated you to study the particular subjects that are of interest to you. So there could be things like books you've read, courses you've attended, work experience you've done, school projects, whatever it is. Now, when we get your application, we're looking very carefully at all the information that's provided to us. And in particular, we're looking carefully at your particular background and circumstances. So if there are other things that you want to identify for us in the application, then please do make sure it's included in the application. Now, of course, we're also very interested in your academic ability. And of course, we have measures of uh, how well you performed in the past with your GCSE results. We'll also have an indication of where you're at at the moment with the admissions assessment results. We'll also have some predicted grades from your school. And we'll look at all of those together before making any particular judgments. If, provided we don't have any concerns about your academic ability, we'll then invite you up for interview. And in Queen's, the interviews for physical natural scientists um, typically take the form of two interviews that are typically between 20 to 25 minutes long each. And those two interviews are typically split between one being focused principally on maths and physics and the other being focused on chemistry and general science. Now, don't worry too much if you don't have uh, experience of one of those subjects. We'll be tailoring the interviews for any people who have slightly different academic backgrounds uh, to meet their individual needs. But that's typically the way we'll structure it. So what are we looking for in those interviews? Well, we're really looking for evidence of your ability to think and assimilate new concepts. So we're throwing all sorts of mathematical, scientific or physical, chemical and the like problems at you. And what we really want you to do is talk us through your thought processes. We want to see how you can take the concepts we're presenting to you, uh, combine them with your existing knowledge and come up with solutions, thoughts or ideas. So really do make the point of telling us what you're thinking as the process is going on.
Now, there are more specific information about the um, course requirements and the admissions process available on the website, so I won't repeat that here. One last thing I want to mention is that um, some of you may be considering taking a year out. And we don't think this disadvantages students at all. Indeed, it can offer the opportunity to get some broader personal experiences uh, which make you uh, well placed for academic study. But if you are thinking of doing that, then we do encourage you to carefully consider um, a learning strategy to make sure that when you do start your studies at the end of the year, that you are really well placed to kick things off um, straight away. And with that, I'd like to conclude by saying I think natural science is a wonderful subject. It provides students with a real opportunity to explore other scientific topics before they choose to specialise in later years. And if you choose to make an application, um, there's every chance I might see you through the application process over the coming year. So until then, thank you.